Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a sushi restaurant Lego mock video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. Not to be biased here, this is actually a pretty cool restaurant. This mock is actually the second story of a Lego skyscraper that I have in my Lego city. Here's the front of the restaurant. As you can see, there is no sign as it would clutter up the skyscraper, but when you take the windows off, you can better see what's inside the restaurant. So here's the sushi restaurant. As you can see in the restaurant, there are a bunch of tables, about five tables in total, including one large one in the center. On each side of the wall here, I have included these little decorations that I made in Lego. As you can see, it's kind of like a light with this gold piece hanging down. I don't really know what they're supposed to be, but it just kind of looked traditional Japanese to me. I have included two on each side. Back to the tables, there really is no consistency with each table. As you can see, like on this table, there's a couple pieces that there's, well, one piece of sushi and two chairs. And then at this table, it's just one wine glass and two chairs. Here in the center of the restaurant with this bigger table, as you can see, there are four pieces of sushi and but only two chairs. And they're different colored chairs because I ran out of red chairs but this overall looks like a neat table. Here on the other side is pretty much the same. At the back of the restaurant here, as you can see, there's these two window pieces that make up a dragon. When you push these two pieces together, it does continue the pattern of a dragon, but because I decided not to push them together and have a little opening in the center, you can still see there is a pattern and it looks cool. At the back here is the opening between the restaurant and the kitchen. There is a, like a tray of sushi in the middle there with like some detailing and the star, and I don't, not a star, but an archway and I think it's kind of neat. When you lift it up, there is a countertop with more detailing underneath. The problem with this restaurant is none of the chairs are fastened down, so if I turn it like this, they all fall out. Here's what the restaurant does look like without all the cluttered up chairs. As you can see, there's a lot of red and purple tiles on the floor because it is a sushi restaurant and I, I don't know, I like those colors for the sushi restaurant. Here in the back of the restaurant, it's kind of neat. As you can see off to this side here are all these green studs and I use those for like the bottom of the sushi. In the center here, as I mentioned, there is a tray for the sushi and then over here there is another tray for a sushi waiting to go out. The overall floor back here is lime green. It's very narrow as there's not a lot of working space because the main part of the restaurant is the seating area. Over here is just like this menu or TV screen, I'm not really sure. And as you can see, there's a couple different bottles of like sushi filling, I guess you could say. And it's kind of neat because what I tried to do is here's the bottom of the sushi, you take the bottle, you pour the sushi on, and then you carry it out. I know that's not how they make sushi, but it's just a fun idea I thought of. As you can see, there is a countertop surrounding the entire back of the sushi restaurant. There is nothing special looking from the sushi restaurant on the sides or the back or the other side. It just kind of looks cool from the front, but I do admit it does look cooler without the windows. I also tend to put these knives on the counter, but they really slide around. I hope you enjoyed this video of my LEGO Sushi Restaurant. I did have quite a bit of fun making this sushi restaurant for my LEGO City, and here's what it looks like when it's in my skyscraper. You could barely tell that it's a sushi restaurant. If you enjoyed this mock, don't forget to leave a like down below.